Hello and guten Tag. My name is Jan and this is the Ender 3 v 3 With the Ender 3 v 3 <laughs> Creality has now completed its Ender 3 v 3 lineup. It is a bad slinger like its two little brothers, but with a printhead similar to the K1C or newer revisions of the K1 Max, which drives the X and Z axis with a core XZ system that is unique for consumer devices to date. Important information. The printer was provided to me by Geek Buying for this review. However, neither Geek Buying nor Creality have any influence on my opinion here. However, if you are in the mood to buy because or despite of my review, you will find affiliate links in the video description, which will not cost you any more but will help me run this channel. So let's get started. What are the specs of this printer? The printer is running on Clipper, adapted by Creality, which can also be rooted. Nice that Creality is also learning, isn't it? An acceleration sensor is included as well to enable input shaping. After routing the printer, features such as remote control via fluid or mainsail in browser or improved bed leveling via camp can also be used. Routing is made very easy with Kirill's root script. As with the K1C, the printhead includes a direct drive extruder and the new Unicorn nozzle, which is hardened and therefore does not break directly when printing with abrasive filaments containing like carbon fibers, glitter or luminescence particles. The build volume is rather average with 220 by 220 by 250 mm. The plus version of a printer provides more build volume with 300 by 300 by 330 mm. The housing is simple, stable and has a very high quality feel. The camera is optional and not included. In terms of speed, Creality specifies a maximum print speed of 600 mm per second with an acceleration of up to 20,000 mm per second squared. However, it has to be said that those figures can only be achieved under certain conditions. The standard slicer profiles are noticeably slower, though still pretty fast with good print quality. As for slicers, with the new Creality Print 5, Creality offers a modern slicer based on Orca, Prusa Slicer, Bamboo Studio, Super Slicer, Cura. In fact, it's a mixture of almost all slicers out there, with pretty good and reasonable profiles which can get you off to a good start. What are the benefits of Core XZ? By eliminating the drive spindles, the Z-axis can move more precisely, smoother and faster. The notorious Z-wobble of bed slingers is gone, which improvises the print quality. Ringing and ghosting is also absolutely fine out of the box with this system. However, the high speed can become a problem with taller prints, as the entire print is moved back and forth. When printing in waste mode, for example, this leads to the print starting to deform at a certain date, which of course is detrimental to the print quality. In other words, if this happens, you need to slow down the printer. Of course, this does not happen with Core XY systems as the K1, K1 Max, K1C, or the Bamboo Labs P1S X1. Here the printhead goes uh, on a gantry of X and Y, and the print goes down bit by bit. So what do I like about this printer? Out of the box the Ender 3 v3 delivers a solid print quality with good speed for its price. It is pretty easy to assemble, tighten 8 screws, plug in a few cables, very easy to get up and running. In my opinion it really is absolutely beginner friendly. Creality offers root access right out of the box, giving you a full clipper experience, which gives you more options to tweak almost everything as long as you are willing to learn. But honestly, for most users, the way it is out of the box is absolutely fine. According to the livestream of Creality's 10th anniversary celebration, the CFU, Creality Filament Unit, the equivalent to Bamboo Labs AMS, will also be compatible with this printer when it's being released, making multicolored prints pretty easy. What I do not like about this printer, the printer is not quite. Yes, you cannot compare to enclosed printers, but I think it's like the Ender 3 v3 KE. It's pretty unpleasant in terms of noise. The filament guide is close to the printer, and when starting to print, the printer has moved upwards, unspooling some of the filament. I'm always worried that the filament gets stuck between the spool, the print gantry, the wires, and all of that, and gets jammed. Up to, until now, it did not happen. Also, the first time I started the printer, it uh, ran into an error during the self-test. After some quick googling, the pr it revealed that the printer needs an update. 
not that much of a problem, but if you are a complete beginner, it can be a hassle. Yes, it's a Core XZ drive system. Yes, it has the print head similar to the K1C. But if I'm really honest, it doesn't have anything special. It's almost boring like a real first world problem. And the price difference to the K1C is not immense. And here we got a great enclosed system with Core XY with a larger selection of possible filaments. And the CFU from Creality will also fit the K1C, according to Creality. Yes, what do I think of the Ender 3 V3 as a whole? It is a solid bad slinger, it prints quickly with good results. Can I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. Just like the Ender 3 V3 KE or the K1C, not the K1. But I also have to say that if you have the money in your pocket, you should make the leap to the K1C. In my opinion, it's a better overall package in price performance. It's just as simply, it's a lot better. So that's it from my look at the Ender 3 V3. As always, I hope I did help you and would be really happy if you would leave a like and maybe a subscription for my channel. It, this would really help me. So I'm off until the next time. See ya.